Uh, we're going to start our proceedings for tonight, and thank you for all being here. Uh, before we begin, I ask that we take a moment of silence in honor of all who lost their lives on September 11, 2001, and for all those rescue workers who did so much on that day. Thank you. I recently read what Franklin Delano Roosevelt said about giving speeches. Be sincere, be brief, and be seated. <laughs> well, I promise to be sincere, and eventually I will be seated. But there's a lot of thank yous that need to be done, a lot of recognition that needs to be done for so many people who did so much for the organization over the last year. So let's get right into it. As an organization, there are so many people that contribute to our success, and certainly getting our message to lawmakers in Albany and Washington, D.C. is part of what we need to do, and that requires PAC contributions. And it's a tradition during this evening that we recognize the PAC, the PIA member agencies that gave $1,000 or more to Piani PAC over the previous year. As I call your name, please stand and be recognized as a member of the PIA New York PAC Platinum Club. You'll be presented with a plaque, an update to put on your existing plaque, or a new plaque if you've run out of space. And the first person, Jeff Greenfield from NL NGL Group. No speech, no speech right now or anything, no speech. Eric Nicolaisen from Nicolaisen Agency, Inc. John Parsons from Parsons and Associates, Inc. Alan Plafter from Member Brokerage Services. Yay. Michael Skeel from Skeel Agency Incorporated. Kevin Ryan from Valley Group. John Tomasi from the Winfield Group. We have additional members who are not here tonight, but are also on this prestigious list. These include Franklin Company, Fleetwood Agency, Inc., Kingstone Insurance Company, Morstan General Agency, and the Simon Agency. In addition to these important and generous large donors, many other donors are present. I want to acknowledge your contribution, which is essential and very, very much appreciated at any level. Thank you all for your generous contributions. As we go on to the awards portion of this evening, it seems appropriate that we continue recognize, recognizing contributions to PAC. So at this point, I would like to present a unique award, which we've never given before. This award is presented specifically by the PNE PAC in recognition of lifetime achievement to the PAC and to individuals and this individual's great contribution to PIA in government affairs. <coughs> Our honoree has been a professional independent insurance agent for more than six decades. He joined PIA in 1950 and has served on the PA of New York board since 1981. During that time, he served with distinction as a member of the Government Affairs and Industry Relations Committees, and he served as chairman of PA Political Action Committee Governing Board and PA PAC Executive Committee. His service to PIA extends beyond our own state as Vice President of PI National, as well as Chair of Niagara, excuse me, of National's Government Affairs Committee, and Chair of the PI National PAC, and as PA of New York National Director. There is no question that this active service raising awareness, resources, and membership in PI PAC throughout New York State and beyond is extraordinary. As for these reasons, PI PAC conceived this unique Lifetime Achievement Award. Please join me in congratulating Lou Wilson for a lifetime achievement.
reasons for joining PIA. I had one where I had a secretary whose husband was very ill, and the other place we get health insurance was PIA. And that was 1957, 58, and so. It's been uh, wonderful, for, wonderful for me, and I'll tell you, I've met so many wonderful friends over the years. Agents have really are so dedicated to this business, and they've done one fantastic job. I'm very proud to possibly stand alongside of them, because they are the they are the heroes of PIA. I'll look at you, Jen, uh, our friend down here, Jeff Greenfield. I remember some other people I went well uh, was a. Strong Democrat, I'm a strong Republican, we used to fight all the time and uh, try to raise money that way. And it just, it just seems so good to see so many friendly faces and keep up the good work. You're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Community service. Our next award is for community service. We asked our members to tell us about an individual who has a leadership role in significant activity for the community and or its individuals. You know an award is generally deserved when the recipient's employee nominates her boss for it. The nominator of her honoree made a point to say that for the duration of her work with him, I have become increasingly touched by his generosity to so many local charities. And indeed, his long list of volunteerism and service includes a myriad of organizations throughout New York State's capital region, including the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Nick's Fight to Be Healed Foundation, Sponsorship of a Child in Need as a part of Southern Saratoga County Chamber of Commerce, Hannah's Hope Fund for Gi Giant Axonal Neuropathy, and the capital region CDPHP Workforce Challenge, which supports several charities. Our honoree is the founder, president, and CEO of GTM Payroll Services, and he has participated as a member of PIA since 2007. His extensive work in his community is a model of, what, of that for which professional independent agents are known. Guy Madelone could not be here tonight to accept his award because, and this is no surprise, he is at another event honoring heroes of the September 11 tragedy. However, his brother Michael Madelone is here and will accept the award on his behalf. Please join me in welcoming Michael Madelone. for having us tonight. Um, again, I'm Michael Madelon. I'm the Director of Sales with GTM. <coughs> Honored to accept this award tonight on behalf of my older brother, the founder and CEO of GTM. Guy wishes he could have been here tonight, uh, but he's out of town and unfortunately was un unable to rearrange his schedule. Uh, thank you very much to PIA. GTM has had a great relationship with you, and as an independent business, we support your mission of providing resources, information, and tools to help independent insurance brokers become more successful. Just a quick word about GTM. We provide payroll, tax, HR, and insurance services to both businesses and household employers. We owe our success to the payroll and insurance professionals we employ. Their years of experience and dedication of providing superior service have made GTM a leader in the industry. Our success has made it possible to reinvest our profits in the community, supporting child-related causes like the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Albany Med Children's Hospital, the Hannah's Hope, Hannah's Hope, which, support, which supports research for GAN, which is a rare inherit, inherited genetic disorder. Plus, our relationship with Siena College helps nurture the business people of the future through our scholarship of entrepreneurial-focused students and our contributions to, to the College Stack Center. Guy strongly encourages our staff to lend their time to helping these causes, whether it's manning the booth at the mall to collect a make-a-wish, participating in charity 5Ks around the region, or simply being, bringing in a toy for the less fortunate children around the area. Being able to give back to our community boosts employee morale 
and knowing that we directly contribute to, to worthwhile causes. So again, on, on behalf of Guy, we truly appreciate PIA for, for selecting him for this award. He's very proud of both G, his and GTM's success, which enables him the ability to support the community. This award means a great deal to him, and again, thank you very much. Our next award is presented on behalf of PA of New York Young Insurance Professionals. Our honoree is an industry veteran having worked in the insurance industry for some 20 years, beginning his career as a CSR and then working as a financial analyst for John Hancock in Boston after graduating from SUNY IT in Utica and then earning his MBA at Northeastern University. However, we've had the good fortune to know him over the past 15 years as a young insurance professional and a member of, of the Membership and Marketing and Education Conference Committees of PIA of New York, and he's moved up the ranks from Commercial Underwriter and Manager at Utica First Insurance. With his impressive career, it would not surprise you, this isn't his first award. In 2005, he was named New York YIPS Insurance Professional of the Year. His work on both associations is a consistent and reliable force for which we are both grateful. By now, I'm sure you recognize Sean Kane, CPCU, ARE, past president of New York Young Insurance Professionals, and committee member of PIA New York. Come on up, Sean. Congratulations. Thank everybody real briefly. Um, you know, this, this award was a surprise to me. Um, I honestly don't feel I deserve it. Um, you know, I don't do what I do for recognition, just like I know all of you don't do what you do for recognition. This is a volunteer uh, organization. Volunteers are not paid, as we all know, but it's not because they're worthless, it's because they're priceless. Um, I brought my wife with me to prove that I do actually do something when I come to Albany <laughs> instead of just going out at night and, and singing karaoke with my friends. But it's all about friendships and, and I've, met, I've met so many amazing people here um, and I love to see the organization grow, the young insurance professionals. I can't count how many people have moved from their ranks up to the PIA board ranks. Um, and it's just, that's really what the young insurance professionals are all about. So I just wanted to thank my beautiful wife, Diane. I wanted to thank Dina and Jay Barto and Donna and all the people who arranged for me to be nominated for this award. And I just wanted to thank everybody who, you know, kind of helped guide me, Mike Skeel. And I, there's just too many people that I, to name that have helped guide me through the ranks. But thank you. I'm truly humbled. And I thank all of you for all of the work that you guys do. It really is a thankless job, but it's so meaningful that it's, you know, it's just monumental. So thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. The next award we intended to present tonight is the PA of New York Distinguished Service Award. This award is presented to an individual who has had significant history and significant contributions and support of the insurance community. Our recipient, Henry Kay, joined PIA in 1979 while he was a district manager for Kemper. He moved to the agency side in Western New York and became PIA of New York president while working at Brown and Stromecki in Orchard Park in 1992. He has served in every committee and officer position for our association, and his service to the industry extended beyond PIA, including work with the National Alliance and the CIC Board of Governors. He's well known and highly regarded in Western New York, which has been a benefit to our association, as he has led the district office visits on behalf of PIA for a number of years. He knows so many of these legislators that as soon as he calls, we end up getting an appointment, which has been great for a number, a number of years. He played baseball for St. Joseph High School and at Canisius College, and he holds the record for the highest single season batting average at 470, 
a record that was made in 1960 and still stands today. He gave us that information. I think he wanted it in here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Henry has not been in the best of health recently, and this past weekend he suffered a fall and banged his head and cracked a couple of ribs, so he's in a lot of pain. Uh, I spoke with him yesterday on the way coming out here, and he sounds kind of banged up, but he just wanted to extend his regards and thanks to everyone in the room for the recognition. It means a lot to him, I can tell you that. It means a ton to him that, that we're giving him this award. So. I'm, I'm here to accept it on his behalf, and please join me in congratulating Henry Kay. <laughs> on behalf of Henry Kay. No. <laughs> uh, thanks, Leslie, for that heartfelt laughter. Uh, <laughs> this is the presidential citation and an award that is personally important to me. It's a special award and I'll tell you why I thought this was very significant. This award is being given to an individual who has also served on every PIA board committee and every officer position and has been part of PIA for more than 20 years. He comes from a family of professional independent agents and PIA volunteers, three generations including his father and his son who have served on the board. This year is immediate past president. I asked him and, and Alan took on two roles that previously did not exist and his experience and service exceeded expectations to the benefit of our association, its members, and the industry. The first was a liaison providing consistency and ideas across events and committees for our RAPS and annual conference. The second was put to use his experience as a YIP, offering his sage advice and hearing the concerns of that group to demonstrate PIA's commitment to the future of YIPs and our industry and us working together hand in hand. With these successes in mind, please join me in thanking Alan Plafker, immediate past president of PIA yeah. in New York. Expected. I don't normally get surprises. I try and stay on top of things, but uh, this was unexpected, and it was a pleasure working with Tony. Um, it was a pleasure as he came in and as he's going out and during his term. Uh, it was very special. Coming up through the ranks, starting at the committee level, going through the board, going through the officer positions. Um, Along the way, I had to uh, knock out uh, Mike Pal Palumba, who was uh, secretary for about a dozen years or more. Um, that was a little difficult, but um, I, I, I did enjoy every position. I enjoy the relationships here, um, having uh, the multi-general generations. Um, I used to be known as Phil's son. Now it became Michael's father, so, you know, it, it, it does happen, <laughs> and um, I, I thank you very much for this award, Tony, and um, it's, uh, it's in my blood, it's in my uh, expectations to always be part of PIA and to help in every way. Thank you very much. We've got one more important award. It is yet another tradition during this dinner that we present an award for Committee Chair of the Year to one of the dedicated individuals who's led one of our many committees that comprises our board over this past year. All of our committees did a great job and had major successes, and thank you for that. But one stood out, enjoying major achievements, including the passage of our long-sought Certificates of Insurance Bill into law and relaxing the regulations on personal auto inspections. We had many other successes in the legislature with policymakers, and we can thank Justin Fries for his steady demeanor overseeing the Government Affairs Committee. I can share that whenever I had the pleasure of sitting in on a committee meeting or a conference call, <laughs> passing the jacket, he maintained a strong and fluid meeting 
I was always prepared with a jacket. And it was <laughs> Congratulations to Justin Freeze. jacket. I have extra cash. <laughs> I won't tell you about the medication I found in here. I don't think he wants me to go there. Uh, but uh, Tony, thank you. Thanks to everybody. Um, special thanks to, uh, to Matt. Um, I don't think people realize, I know all of us in this room realize, but I certainly don't think our members and um, people that aren't really too familiar with PIA uh, really how much Matt does and how good of a job he really does. So it uh, really goes to him. Steve, that's a nice jacket. Maybe you can always bring it to every meeting, just in case. I got a check for the $100 bill if you do while we have a specific award for the committee chair of the year, I want to thank and recognize all of the committees, which is where the rubber hits the road, where we get things done year after year. Thank you to each of our committee chairs and vice chairs who are responsible for the numerous achievements and accomplishments we enjoyed this year. I'd like to start by thanking Fran Scott and John Tomasi in membership and benefits, Justin Fries and John Tomasi in government affairs, Fred Hollander and Anthony Camus in Industry and Company Relations. Sorry, Fran and John, I didn't pause after that first thing. So let's give them a let's give them a <laughs> Leslie Rogoff and Rich Andrews in Education and Conferences. And Ellen Plath who headed nominations and served as liaison to the YIPs and to the RAPs. And of course, a thank you to Fran Scott for her work in Hudson Valley Rap, Dina Bruno for Metro Rap, and Michael Lugersho for Long Island Rap. They deserve major kudos for their hard work and their success in running these really necessary raps that we do every year. Thanks again. I certainly can't forget the New York insurance professionals, young insurance professionals, led by Jen DiCristoforo this year. And I want to congratulate and I, <laughs> and I want to congratulate the New Year President Jason Bartow. I can say that the Yips event in Buffalo with the Bisons game, I had a great time with my son and all the folks, all the Yips that were at that in Buffalo. Besides that, there were uh, networking events across the state, including Utica in Utica at Matt's Brewery, which was a big hit, Long Island for a night at the theater, and even here in Albany and Manhattan. I can tell you the Yips are a fun group to be with, and as much fun as they have, they're just as professional as that. And it's a terrific young group of individuals. I encourage everyone in this room to support Yips, and even encourage young insurance professionals that you may know to join that organization. It's a wonderful organization and let's face it, it's our lifeblood as we go forward. <laughs> Finally, I want to thank Ellen Plafker once more because Ellen, you began grooming me two years ago for the role of president. Most of us actually learn how to do the job by getting some trial runs at it and you were able to do that for me and I appreciate the encouragement that you did. It was Really a great learning experience last year, and you've been terrifically supportive all through this year. So thank you. Once again. Don't worry, I'm already on page 12. We're almost done. <laughs> Keep on going. Uh, now before I turn the podium over to Scott, Scott, you're still here someplace, aren't you? You didn't, you didn't bail? Okay, good. Uh, I want you to introduce... Your new president, and I'd like to note that this board is comprised of some of the most dedicated, hardworking, and professional men and women I've ever had the pleasure to work with. It's been great from, from basically committee work through the board of directors 
through everything that we've done, we've done, the XCOM included. I want to thank every one of you for making this such a premier organization for independent agents across the state and across the country. I feel particularly privileged to have worked with such a great slate of officers this year, President-elect, and let's hold our applause to the end, folks, does that, does that make sense? But President-elect Gene Sandy, First Vice President John Parsons, Vice President Paul Cashiero, Vice President Jamie Ferris, Treasurer Eric Klaus, Secretary Bruce Rolich, Immediate Past President Ellen Plafker, and our National Director Scott Lieber. Thank you for such a wonderful year, and I, can, I look forward to continuing to work with you in the coming years to have even greater accomplishments. If I may, I'd like to share some personal observations, a question or two, and some thank yous concerning this past year. My initial observation is this year flew by. It's, it's amazing to me that it was already a year ago that we were in this room, and Alan, you were introducing me as the incoming president. Uh, during the last 12 months, our organization has had some terrific successes. We've talked a couple, about a couple from the Government Affairs Committee, but we've certainly had even more than that. And we should celebrate that as a group, because as the group now is in the room, that's part of our success. The groups before us, the teams before us that worked on that, it's part of their success also. Because the group now, and let's face it, these successes that occur, they usually don't occur in one year. It's usually a long process that takes time to get things through. So when I look at things, and I want to, and I want to share this with you, uh, after the personal uh, inspection law changed and we had an extension on that, Marty Cole sent me a really nice note saying, hey, congratulations on that success. And I, th and I thank you so much for those kind words. But as I wrote back to Marty, I said, thank you for that, Marty. But I recognize that this was a lot of work by a lot of people for a long time. And that's how it is with most of these things. It's a lot of work for a long time, and finally something comes to fruition. And fortunately this year, I was the one lucky enough to be holding the gavel when some of these changes occurred. So I feel fortunate for that. But again, it's a long time for any of these things that occur. Recently, in, in preparing, getting prepared for this, I was wondering why there's so many past presidents that are still so involved in this organization. Why did they do it? I mean, they've served their time, They've gotten their commemorative clock, so why are they still coming back year after year? Why do they do it? I'd, I'd like to share some of their responses, and I hope the, for those folks that did respond, I hope you understand that I edited your comments perhaps just in, in essence of brevity. One person said, probably because I learn something new every day from people around me, and I hope that means in turn I can pass my knowledge on to others somehow. I want to be able to bring people into the industry I want to show them the importance of giving back to an industry that gives so much to many, to so many. That was from Donna Chipperino, our president from 2010 to 2011. Another individual said, I've always felt that I learned more at our meetings than I ever contributed. My father was active his whole life, so I guess it rubbed off. He also said, maybe I'm just nuts. You know, that was from <laughs> Eric Nicolaisen, president from 73 to 74. Answering that question, why do you do it? Short and to the point, Jeff Greenfield responded, <laughs> just was. To me, PIA stands for passion and action. I still have the passion to fight for causes, and PIA is the vehicle. After all, my business card says, have a cause, we'll travel. <laughs> there was one last comment that he, he included, and it's kind of personal, kind of genuine, and kind of nice. And, but since we're family, I guess I can share this with you, but I just want to read it so I get it correctly. Jeff also added, this message is dictated but not proofread by Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Yet another president said to me, PA has helped me and most of us grow and, su and succeed in the industry. I can't think of a better way to thank an organization than continuing to give back. It's important to help others develop skills as they continue through the process, just as other presidents have helped us it's all about the joy of giving to others. That's from Ellen Plafker, very recent past president. One past president from Western New York said, there's so many reasons I stay involved. First, I love the four and a half hour drive to Albany. <laughs> but, 
Seriously, there are still so many things that PIA does that have value to me. I like staying involved and knowledgeable about industry happenings and legislative issues. I wouldn't be as in the know if it weren't for staying active in PIA. That's from Lynn Frank, president from 2001-2002. And lastly, Rich Savino said, after being involved for so many years, I just don't want to leave the family. This is a community that helps each other in so many ways. We help each other and we help our customers, and that's all enhanced by this organization we call PIA. I thought I'd hear a couple of oohs and ahs. <laughs> When I read that to my daughters, they went, ooh, that's sweet and everything. <laughs> so I want to thank you, past presidents, for your comments, and I want to thank every past president in this room. If you can stand up and be recognized, thank you for all of your work. and knowledge that you continue to pass on year after year. In closing, I'd like to thank my wife and my family for their support, especially over the last couple of years with the travel schedule, which does get kind of hectic from time to time. I also want to recognize and thank my employer, Russell Bond. They were very supportive and also understanding about the time out of the office that's required by the presidential job. But I also want to thank everybody in this room and the folks not even here tonight because there's so many people that do so much for PIA. And I want to start by talking about the PIA staff and thanking Mark Lalonde, Kelly Norris, Mary Cristiano and her crew, Lonnie Harvey, Kim Zioli, Matt Gil Gilbo, Kathy McNesser. The list goes on and on. And I ask, if I haven't mentioned your name, I'm sorry. But if I have, if you can please pass those sentiments on to your staff, I would truly appreciate it. Also, thank you to all the fellow volunteers in the room the XCOM board, the board of directors, the committee members, everybody that does so much on a volunteer basis. It's terrific. It's an amazing organization. Every time I come to one of these meetings and I sit in a committee meeting, I sit in a board meeting, I go away energized because I sit in the room and I go, wow, that was so. That was such a great comment. She's so smart. He, he, he made a really great job connecting all those dots. <coughs> that kind of stuff impresses me and that's what this group is all about. So I just want you to know, and also in closing, I just want to say I truly appreciate all the kind words, all of the, all the encouragement, all the support over this past year. It's been a true honor to be serving as president, and I want you to know that I want to come back year after year and be in the crowd of those past presidents still offering some leadership. So thank you very much.